wait for a few people to come back in. We see can we get back up to five, six people to come back into the live chat. And we got we're just back. Um, Ashley has ruined our first live stream, so we're just going to re. We're not going to go through everything. What we're going to do is we're just going to get wait for a few people to come back on live. So we're just going to wait for a few more to come back in. So we have three people back on live. <coughs> we got just cut off. It took me a couple of seconds to reconnect. So what kept you? So we're just going to come back into it now. And let's turn around the camera. So we got rudely interrupted by Ashley. Ashley, um, Ashley, we were doing our first live stream there. We got an uh, interview off the woman that owns the property here. And we we're just at about a uh, spirit box session on the bridge where Captain Nyrak uh, was um, murdered and he was shot in the head. Now, um, we are back. Um, Caroline and Anne Reeves, remind me before I finish, I have a story to deliver to you. You must hear this story. Okay, remind me about the story because I'll forget about it. You know me now, I'll forget about it. And that is one of the reasons why it took me a couple more seconds to come back on the live stream. Remind me, this is a true story and I want to say it in a nice way to the lady who was here a few minutes ago. So let me come to, remind me to tell you. So we are doing um, investigation in relation to Captain Nyrak, known as Robert Captain Nyrak, okay? We came to this location today. We weren't supposed to do any live investigation today. Life After Life TV, Samantha sent Anne Reeves, our moderator, um, a message to pass on to Philip and Caroline in relation to Captain Nyrak, who was murdered here in the Ravensdales Wood. In relation to Captain Nyrak, in the Miami show band, says we've been doing a lot of investigations in relation to Captain Nyrak and the Miami show band. Now, Myself and Caroline were going to forget about what happened and we were just going to go on our holidays and come back. But watching that video of that woman coming here in relation to Captain Nyrak, and she did a wonderful video, really, really um, to, to hear and you, you, you to hear her thoughts and of this bridge where she was communicating with Captain Nyrak. Now, you know my views, what I said before, why didn't she do this, why didn't she? Said, we're not going to go back on it. So she was speaking to Captain Nyrak in relation to what happened to him here on this bridge here. This is the bridge where Captain Nyrak was brutally uh, bet up and um, he was shot in the head once before he was brought up to these farmyards up here and he was buried in two different locations uh, before he was brought, brought up to the Ravensdale Wood. Now, um, before, before I did come here, I was speaking to a man in years of age and I did speak to him in relation to this bridge. He says, yes, this is the bridge where Captain Nyrak was indeed beaten to a pulp and he was shot and he was buried in a few different locations here in Ravensdale. He's, he also did tell, I did tell the story about the woman who came here three weeks ago and did her own investigation at the place and she didn't have to do it but she did it and he, she was able to pinpoint this bridge. Now I always thought it was the two bridges up here, up here over the far side of the Ravensdale wood but this is exactly the bridge where he was murdered because um, the man, he's in his 80s, says yes this is the bridge that did indeed Captain Nyrak was beat brutally murdered and he was bet to death and he was shot in the head once. How I know he was shot in the head once because the medium woman that was here did her investigation here says that she was able to communicate with Captain Nyrak and Captain Nyrak um, Captain Nyrak says that um, uh, that, that he was that he that he was kicked to death here, and he was shot once in the head. And these are the area up here, with these woods there. This is where roughly he was buried in a few different locations until he was buried up here in the Ravensdale Wood. Um, you know, Paranormal Tech, myself and Caroline are at it for a long time, and we have done the Ravensdale Woods for a long time. We always thought, even Sean Walter thought that that uh, that that Captain Irex's body was built to a bridge, the bridge that we did do our investigation in, in relation to Captain Iraq. Now, everybody has their different thoughts about this, uh, this, this mystery of Captain Iraq, but my mystery is that he was an evil, evil man. Uh, nobody deserves to die. And um, this old man in question that I was speaking to in person, not going to give his name away, he says, well, it's about time they released his body now and let him go home. And I, I, he, before I told him the story, he was actually able to pinpoint in the area where Captain Iraq is buried in a shallow grave. And that is the area where that woman did her investigation. So is she right? We don't know. I always thought he was buried in the bridge, to be honest, yeah. 
so you should go to the ground and so what I'm gonna do I wanted to I want to get let's get it straight because I long enough had it and I'm more interested in what happened a couple of minutes ago uh, but anyway I want to do one spirit box session here on the bridge see can we communicate with Captain Iraq who was buried who briefly bet here and um, they tortured him here on this bridge here right behind me to get all the information that what he did in, in relation to the Miami show band, not just the Miami show band, in relation to other stories, in relation to Captain Iraq. Um, this is the bridge that Captain Iraq was now to believe. This is the bridge that he was, he's seen his last dying days. This was an actually an up running road here. He used to come up here and they used to drive up here, take the shortcut coming up here and over this humpback bridge. But this meeting came here she says she was able to speak with Captain Iraq and Captain Iraq said he was beaten to a pulp here he escaped maybe two here he escaped maybe two or three times but they brought him back here and they shot him once in the head here on this bridge and she was able to communicate with Captain Iraq and Captain Iraq was able to pinpoint the location where he is buried so I want to do a spirit box session here let's see can we get in touch with Captain Iraq ourselves and I want to go through the woods as well and uh, show you the area before everything is up in an apple tart and we won't be able to get a chance to uh, to do anything. I don't believe that the bear, I can't, I'm not, not going to take, so I'm going to put the ramp pod on the bridge. It will come on for me, don't tell me I, did, I didn't turn it off last night. Ramp pod won't even work for me. So um, let me see, can the, will the ramp pod even work for me? No, I don't think I turned it off from last night actually. So let me, let me try it again. Carly always tells me to reconnect everything before I go anywhere, but I actually thought I knocked that off last night. So just let me, just give me a second. Let's see, can I reconnect that ramp pod? See, can I get it up and run it? No singing out of that at all. I'll we'll just try another battery. In relation to Captain Iraq. Just give me a second, guys. But this woman didn't need any of this stuff here. She was able to. She was able to uh, contact Captain Iraq without any of these devices. She was able to speak to Captain. She was able to speak to Captain Iraq in relation to his death and his murder. So I want to put the rampart here on this bridge. And if Captain Iraq, if you're around me now, so let's start it here. Captain Iraq, known as Robert Captain Iraq of the British Army, I'm standing on the bridge to believe this is the bridge you stood in your last. Dying days, this is the bridge that you were shot dead and brought up. If your spirit is here, Captain Iraq, can you come forward and light up this device for me, please? Can you touch that device? So the rampart is on the bridge. If Captain Iraq is here, I haven't got the sixth sense, I cannot see you, I cannot hear you. But Captain Iraq, if you're here, can you come over here to this bridge and touch this device here? and try and set it off by touching this area. Can you do that for me, please? So if Captain Iraq's spirit is here, let's see, can he respond to that? So let's put on the spirit box session here and let's see, can we get anything in relation to Captain Iraq before we move on to the, to the forest? So let's put on the spirit box. Earphones in, guys. Ashley, do not ring, please. So let's put on this, the boom box as well. I got high. I just want to try and get it connected, guys. Just give me a second. Let's try and get it connected. Just give me a second. Just try and connect the boombox. See, it, it, it does take time. Caroline, Caroline's probably watching and frustrated now that I'm not rushing home, but these things are, they take time to set up. You entered Bluetooth mode. Waiting for connection is okay. Okay, so it says connection is okay. So, so let's go. Good evening, spirits. I'm trying to contact with Captain Nyrak. Captain Nyrak, are you here? Captain Nyrak, this is the bridge that you were shot and briefed. Are you here? Captain Nyrak. Captain Nyrak. Robert, can you say my name? My name is Philip. Captain Robert Nyrak. Are you here? Captain Nyrak, Philip. For me. I am a paranormal investigator researching in evidence in the afterlife. A lady was here three weeks ago 
she was believed that she was con- she contacted you and you were able to speak to her and show where you were buried in, in Raven's Day Wood. Captain Iraq, is this the bridge that you were murdered and took your last dying breath? If so, okay. use this device I have in my hand and try and contact me. Captain Nyarak from the British Army. New evidence has come online in relation. This is the bridge that you were brutally beaten to death and you were shot one bullet into your head. A medium lady was here not so long ago. She was able to communicate with you and you were able to tell her exactly where you're buried. Can you try and use the devices I have? and try and communicate with me tonight because I cannot see you she said she could see you she said she could hear you I haven't got that talent that's why I use these devices to try and speak to you can you try and use the devices I have and try and communicate with me please my name is Philip this lady stood at this gate and you were able to speak to her Captain Nyrak. can you come forward please Robert, can you come forward, please? Come forward and try and speak to me. My name is Philip. Can you say can you say your name to prove to me that this story is right? Captain Iraq. Only I only want to speak to Captain Iraq. And nobody else. Captain Nyrak, Robert, come forward, please. Is this is this the bridge that you were murdered? Come on. Robert, can you say your name, please? Can you say your name, Robert? Okay, so there's are to slow down. Okay, so let's slow down. Robert. Captain Nyrak of the British Army. A lady was here not so long ago. She stood on this bridge. She says, this is the bridge that you were brutally murdered. And this is where you have been shot, Robert Captain Nyrak. She showed where your body was as well, located in the woods. Captain Nyrak, my name is Philip. I am a paranormal investigator researching evidence in the afterlife. Captain Nyrak, can you come forward and try and use the devices I have here? I haven't got the powers like the other lady was here three weeks ago. She's able to see you, she's able to speak to you, and you're able to answer her. I have to use this equipment to try and talk to you. Can you try and use the equipment I have to speak to you? I need to to see can I get resolved on your case. Captain Nyrak, name as Robert. Are you here? If you are, can you say Robert or can you say Captain Nyrak? Was like and Captain Nyrak, are you are you here? Can you say your name for me, please? Can you say Robert? Can you say your name, Robert? Can you touch this device on the bridge? Like this? If you're here? You touch that device like that, Robert, if you're here. (laughs) My name is Philip. So I'm not getting anything here, guys. I'll be honest with you. I feel a bit weary, right? But um, I'm getting nothing. So we're going to do one more round of it, and then we're going to head into the forest. Captain. Nyrak of the British Army. This is the bridge 
to believe this is where you were murdered back in the 1970s Captain Iraq known as your name is Robert you were taken here you were beaten you were beaten to your death and you were given to believe now one bullet into your head Captain Iraq I haven't got the powers like this lady was here a few weeks ago I cannot see you I cannot hear you I use these devices to try and communicate with you can you try and communicate with me please can you say your name please can you say Cap- can you say Captain Nyrak to this device can you, can you do your best Captain Nyrak connection is broken Connection is okay. Captain Nyrak, are you here? No. Everybody. Can you come forward, please? Space. So, guys, I'm getting nothing on the spirit box here. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, yeah. To do. We'll try one more here. Uh, Captain Iraq, are you here? Yes or no? <laughs> Captain Iraq, known as Robert. <laughs> was this the bridge that you were murdered in? And this is the bridge that you were, you were able to communicate with the medium woman and tell exactly where your body was buried. <laughs> my name is Philip. I don't want you to repeat my name. <laughs> But I want you to say your name, Captain Nyrak. Anybody hold? Come on. Can you say Captain Nyrak? Nothing. Okay, guys. I'm so. I'm going to keep that going for a minute. I that was a, a F word, a B word coming through there, guys. So we keep the spirit box going. We're going to go up the car now. One second now. So I'm going to keep it going, guys. In a minute. Oh. So, um, we're going to keep the spirit box going, guys. I didn't pick it, and I didn't pick it, and be honest, yeah, on the box there in relation to Captain Iraq. So, real. So I'm going to head up to the wood now. We're going to keep it live. I didn't pick up in, in relation to Captain Iraq. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to try and drive as well. So listen to the spirit box session while I'm driving, guys. Okay, that's all the best I can do for you. We'll keep it going. He might, he might not return to the to the Irish accent. So let's go. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep the spirit box there, guys, and so you can hear. It. I'm going to keep the spirit box session here so you can hear it as well. So let's go to the wood where this lady seen Captain Nyrax. So let's go. <laughs> Captain Iraq, are you in the car with me? Are you sitting in the car with me now? Mm-hmm. You are? Come on. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Captain Iraq, let's go. Show me where your body is. Come on. My father's English as well. He came from Manchester. So you don't need to be afraid of me. Um. So I'm just going to go over the bridge now. And we're going to head up to the to the area now. I'm down. Captain Iraq, are you coming with me to Where? the woods? Yeah. I'm going to the woods now. Are you That's going to... thing. Yes. So we're going to go up here, guys. So we're going to go to the wood and see what the story is. So that's the bridge that this medium woman was able to pick up on Captain Iraq. So just keep the spirit box going. <laughs> While we get, wait, while we head up, so let's go up here. Ready, Captain hey, Iraq, we're not going to Hello, pass. try and look for Captain Iraq. To Hello. Hello. Captain Iraq, Robert, Rest. come on. Immediate. Um, Keep coming. Into awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I'm trying to keep the spirit box going up here a second. 
Do you want to keep it going? Yeah. The roads are quite narrow here. So we're just coming to the one. Philip, yes. My name is Philip. In this investigation, I don't want any other spirits to come forward. I want. I just want. I don't, I don't want to concentrate on Captain Iraq. Please. I only want Captain Iraq. So we're going, to, we're going to park in the car park now, guys. We're right beside it now. So, um. We're just going to park down here now. We're just coming to the car park now, operate as they would. That's how close the bridge is from the location. So we're going to park. We're going to park in here. Just give me a second. I was going to move one or two little things around the place, and we'll be here in two seconds. So we're going to park the car in here. Take the keys out, and uh, I don't want to park in the location where the two boys were murdered. Either. There's loads of different stories here, and um, we're just going to park here. To be honest, I wouldn't be doing this only for life. Afterlife TV and Anne Reeves sent the links on together. So we're going to put. We're in the. We're in the woods now, and all I need to do is be in the spirit box. Nothing else. So we're going to walk up here into the woods. So we arrived at the location, not too far away. So I would say the woman has 100% right. That is the bridge where Captain Nyrak. Make sure the lights don't turn. Where Captain Nyrak was murdered, and all the investigations that we did, all the investigations that we did, and. Um, we were in the wrong location in relation to Captain Iraq. So um, let's put the spirit boxes in our pockets. Let's get it up and running. So we're in Ravensdale Wood. We're not going to try and concentrate on the other spirits off Ravensdale Wood because there is loads of spirits here. So um, let me take you to the steps off where this lady went, this medium woman that was here the last day. This is where she came. Now, uh, there is other spirits here, so I'm not going, to, not going to try and do the spirit box session up here because this is where uh, other people have been murdered here in this location. But what we're going to do is going to show you, this is where we are, we're in the Ravensdale Woods. I'm just going to show you this little picture here. So this is what it is here. You can see here the miss, a missing dog here. It's going to try and bring you to. So if we see this dog, remind me, Bella, Ravensdale Wood. So that dog is through bit by bit. So this is the Ravensdale Wood. I don't want to do any spirit box sessions in here because we know the story here. Myself seven Karen have done many investigations. They have the tree chopped down. Now oh, that is the big tree. You can see the big huge tree. The big tree is located here. And that tree is the big tree where the two boys were shot in the back of the head in relation to in relation to guns and uh, not guns, in relation to drugs. They've chopped that tree down now. It's a pity they chopped that tree down, but let's hope they'll put some um, something in, in 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 relation to the two boys that were killed here. We do you want to do a session here you know what I don't want for them to interact in our live video so we're going to make our way up here this is where we are to believe this is where we need to go so this is where we're going to go we're going to head up this section here and we will we, we reconnect the spirit box session when we get up here just want to make sure we don't lose keys so, I think, yeah. so here we go and the two boys that were murdered under that tree their names were Raymond there were Ant Anthony and Joseph, the two boys that were murdered underneath that big, tr that big tree that's gone now. So let's walk in the footsteps where that lady walked. Captain Nyrak of the British Army, am I heading in the right direction where your body is located? Captain Nyrak, Robert. Am I in the right direction of my body, please? That's the car park there. Captain Iraq, are you with me now? Say yes. Don't be afraid of me if I have an Irish accent. My father is English. I'm, I'm here to get this case resolved and try and get your body back to England. Captain Nyrak, Robert, try and communicate with me please. This lady was here a few weeks ago. You knew these footsteps off this wood. You told her exactly where your body was. Can you do the same for me please? The path. The path yes. Do you hear that? The path? <laughs> I'm in the right direction. You said the path? That. Can you try and communicate with me? 
Can you try and communicate? Can you try and communicate with me, please, Captain Nyarak? This is where Martin ran into and knocked himself out. Captain Nyarak, known as Robert. Am I in the right direction? Where your body is located? Where your body is located? Captain Iraq. Here. <laughs> Captain Iraq, is this the location where I'm heading, where your body is located? Come on. <laughs> Captain Nyrak, is this where you're buried? Captain Nyrak, is is this is where you are you buried here? Samantha Life Afterlife TV. Is this the area? Can you remember by the video where she said he was he was, he was buried? Damn. <laughs> Captain Iraq, can you tell me your name? Try and communicate me some way and let me know is this the area where your body is? Walk down here another bit. Stick about thing. I'm looking for the spirit of Captain Nyrak. Captain Nyrak. Is this your area where you're buried, Captain Nyrak? Are you buried here? Are you buried here? Captain Nyarak, is this where you're buried? Can you give me some some sign where you're buried, please? That's the road where. Yo. Captain Iraq, are you here with me? Or is there any other spirits in this world that can help me? Where a woman came here, and this is the area to believe that Captain Nyrak is buried. Is this true? Is this the area where Captain Nyrak is buried? No. No? I said up. Where do we need to go looking for? Does anybody know in chat with that video where was that woman standing? No. That, that, that looks to be fresh. That looks to be fresh clay dug there. It's further up the path, they're saying. But that looks like there's fresh holes there. No, they're saying. They're saying down. Someone said down more.
where is the area of Captain Nyrak where he's buried? So we're just going to walk around another bit here, just around here. The man, the old man that I seen speaking a few minutes ago, he was down beside there, and he said he was buried over here, up this area. He pointed up this area. Now I know the woman from that neat that tree, and she came down the path. And it's a possibility that's the area that she was looking at. But the, the old man in his 80s pointed in this, in this area here where he's buried. Um, let's do the spirit box session. Let's walk around a few bits around the area. And I'll go back on the path and I'll talk to the people in chat. Let, so let's just, just, just let's refresh it again. Captain Iraq, known as Robert, are you here? Can you give me a sign? where your body is located, please. Am I in the right area? Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Here. Here? Where is here? I can. Where, where is your body located? Oh. Uh, no. Did I hear he's in hell? Any spirits in Ravenswood Wood help me find the location of Captain Nyrax's body, please? Where is he buried? Am I in the light? Go to the other, I heard. I heard a man's voice say, go to the other. Where do we need to go? Go to the other what? Come on. Be strong. Where do we need to go? Try and you. Come on. Where do I need to go to? That looks like a, that looks like a big huge hole. That looks like a big, huge, huge hole there. Does any, does anybody, any of our moderators feel anything in this area here? And Reese says up the path. Let's go up the path a bit more. Now, I just let you know before I refresh the spirits. When I was walking down here earlier on today, I was walking down here, there was a man in his 80s, and I explained the situation of the woman on YouTube who came here to investigate her own sixth sense, and she said she communicated with the spirit of Robert Nyarak on the bridge, and Robert was able to communicate where he said he was shot once in the, in the head. He was supposed to get two bullets, but he got one. She walked this area here, and she was able to communicate with Captain Nyarak, stating the area where his body is located. Now I'm walking roughly, I, I don't know if I'm in the right area, but I'll go back in the path in a minute. But um, I thought you said in the video something in relation to ties. And there is like um, a little area here where there is a thing and there's a fag bush, a recent fag bush there as well. And it looks like there's little gravel there beside the holly bush. Now I'm not ignoring chat, we'll get back to chat in a minute. I'm walking around here at Cedar way of any clay where they were now there's, there's there's big holes here there's another big huge hole here on the right hand side big, like a fox's den here like that here and um, I'm going to walk up here another bit more up this path and then I'm going to try and get you the opportunity to tell me where you think now I'm going to when the, the when the old man was down there he pointed more the old man pointed way more up that way and um, the the t two in question kind of knew where he was to be honest with you but um, I do think what Robert did was bad and I do think he was involved in the Miami show band and if this woman is right to believe that Robert's body is around this area here it's wrong it is time for Robert to go home 
Let's do one more trip box session. This could be the area where this woman was, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Let's do another one. Robert, I'm in the area where you are. Is this... A, are you buried here? Are you buried at this location, Robert? You're really in. Are you buried here? I cannot hear you. I cannot see you. But I can try and use equipment to try and communicate with you. Captain Nyrak, is this the location your body is buried? Yes or no? Clearly, try and use the device and try and communicate with me. Captain Nyrak, can you come forward, please? Am I in the location where you're buried? Yes or no? Step. Here. Is this the location where you're buried? Yes or no? Can you try and use this device I have in my hand? And please say yes or no. Connection is broken. So it says connection is broken. We'll try it again. So I'm going to go back into the pattern element. Connection is okay. Captain Nyrak, can you try and let me know, is, am I in the location where you were buried? Okay. Am I in the location where you're buried? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah. I'm going to walk up small part of the pass, and then I'm going to ask anyone who has seen the video on YouTube. Captain Naira, can you come forward, please? Nobody else. I don't know the spirits. Only Captain Nyrak. I thought that was. The, I thought that was the tree that she passed. I thought that. I, th I thought that was the tree it passed. Captain Nyrak, are you here? Let's walk up that a small bit more. And then we'll talk to, talk to you guys before, before we finish up. Captain, Nyrak, Robert. Where is the location? That's the tree Martin walked into. Is that that she walked? Can anybody let me know in chat when I take a break up here? Am I going the wrong way now? Where that woman was. Let's walk up another bit. And then we'll go back. We'll, we'll walk up here and then we'll ask E. Samantha Life After Life TV. Jilligan. I don't, Carly has not seen the video yet. Um, any of our moderators watch that video? Can you, can you try and pinpoint? Now I'm here. Is this the area? Have I passed the area? where that woman was walk walked, but I think it was down there where I was. <laughs> Two minutes, Caroline, just gonna stop up here. <laughs> I'm gone too far now, I'm not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna go any further. Right. Let me start talking to you guys. Um, the tree back there is where I was. That is where Martin walloped his head off. And I don't think that woman walked any further than here. And that's to be honest with you. I don't think that woman walked past this point. That'll bring you back up towards the ravens they would in that area. She did not walk up there. She, she was mostly down that area. Now... The man in question pointed up this direction. He knew where he were, an idea where he was buried. And he pointed up here. So let's go back to chat. Turn left and walk down. Okay, so let's turn around. 
Right, uh, you're right now. So what I'm going to do is, um, I am going to walk through it slowly, right? Um, I'm telling you, yeah, Ali. What's that? Carrying said, I'm telling you, Ali. Hello, Paranormal Tech, everyone. Yeah, I'm telling you, Ali. What's happening? Am I missing anything? What am I missing? So um, I don't want to spend too much longer on this because I need to get home. Um, if you just joined the chat, Captain, now I look like bones, uh, beans and toast for tea fit up tonight. Dinner burnt, you said. An hour. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Only dinner fit up. So I'm going to head home. Uh, it's all down to Karen. Karen, do you want me to stop and go home or do you want me to finish it off? So it's this, this paranormal investigation now is lies in Caroline's hands. Okay, dinner calling, says Caroline. Let's all have chips and take away. What time is it? It's half five. I'll still be home by six anyway. Um, drum trolls. Drum rolls. So Caroline's the boss. So if Caroline says to stop, I have to stop. And Caroline says, make your way down slowly i'll make my way down slowly so this is all eyes in caroline so we're just waiting for caroline to come use carry on you might as well i'm in the bad books now right we'll, we'll make our way down slowly but the man said it's down there to the right hand side so um i know you're going to greece anyway so we're going to make our way down here and turn this around here. So we're going to make our way down. Um, naughty step. Beat, beat him later, Caroline. So I'm going to walk down here slowly, right? Let's make our way back to the car park, right? Um, Anne Reads and Life After Life TV. If you watch the video that was up, uploaded in um, the, the woman that uploaded the video on, on YouTube. Can you pinpoint the location where I need to walk now? Can you tell me? The man in question that I was speaking to before I started it, he pointed that his body is down here. I can't remember on the video where that woman. So I'm going to walk walk you through it. I'm going to let the spirit box run there. And if I watch the chat, if he says stop, I'll stop. If you guide me through it, I'll, I'll walk where you tell me to go. So I'm going to refresh the spirit box and we'll make our way down slowly. And if I, if you pick up Ed and Tim, we're to go and we'll make our way down slowly. Let's go. So let's walk through it slowly. But the man that I speak to there a while ago, he said he, his body was buried, buried in there. So let's go. Stop. Turn right. Turn around. When you say walk into the woods, do you want me to walk down the path? I can't go to my left because I'm climbing a mountain. I can't go to the right because there's a load of bushes over me. Where do you want me to go? Into the woods. Okay. Okay, I can't go into the woods that way because there's all big huge trees. In here, there's all broken trees and I didn't see her climbing up, up the mountain. 
So I'm going to go down another bit. Connection is broken. Connection is okay. Now, anyways, just before we finish up this, am I going in this area here? Or am I going up that area over there? That's the tree where Martin walked into down there. So, am I going into this area here? Yes or no? Just say yes again. Yes, okay, let's go into this area here. I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, let's go into this area here. Let's see what we pick up. Oh, let's see what we pick up here. Okay. Okay. Entered Bluetooth mode. Waiting for connection. Connection is okay. Look for a foxhole. Hmm. Let's look for a foxhole. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm gonna walk right around. I'm trying to get the spirit box up and running as well. The spirit box won't work either. I'm looking around. I'm gonna walk the whole area. For some reason, my my uh, spirit box won't work. I'm going to knock it off and redo it again. I'm just gonna walk around as much as I can. Connection is broken. I don't want to spend too long now because. I want to be home before six. So I'm going to try and walk it in it. Um, even though I watched that woman's video about 40 times last night, I thought it was more in Martin's area where Martin hit his head. But the man that was doing the fence down there a while ago, he said it was over here. And he says about he said it's time that the body was given back. So I've not seen anything in relation to any new disturbance that was walking down. I am walking through it, the area, roughly where it is. A spirit box is not working. I'm looking for a foxhole. Everywhere I'm walking, there's broken trees and everything. So I'm walking through the area as much as I can to show you guys live on YouTube. I'm not really picking up anything here. I want to zoom it all this area here as much as I can. And I'm really supposed to look for a foxhole. So I'm trying to cover as much as area as I can. You're all watching me live on YouTube doing it. And Carly will have me in the foxhole, find out home soon. Now the, the man I was speaking to, he was down there a while ago, and he said it was more 
up that way up that way up there so um there is a big hole here though let's have a look at that oh, jesus there's a big hole there and we're back in the location where i was there that's a big huge hole there We're back to this same location here. There's a big dinch here. Not there, says Anne. And right, should we just go back? I'm looking. We're just going to keep. We'll keep it going another minute. See, there were the ties there. And that's freshly met there. And so Anne still saying it's not here. It looks like there's footprints here. I think it's here. I think it's here. See this that looks like this that's all new ground walk there. That looks like it's that's the spot there, to be honest. Yeah. That looks like it there to me. That looks like the area Connection is okay. There is a kind of a foxhole here to the right hand side. It's the sake of a hole it's down here, actually. I remember the ties, says Anne. Okay, if you remember the ties. So Anne, let's let's finish this off. Do I need where do I need to go? Left or right? Let's finish this off before we go. Where do I need to go to? Straight up. Straight up. Up the path or up the wood? Do I need to walk up the path or I need to go up the wood? Straight up. Towards the road. Okay, let's go towards. That's the road here. What the fuck was that? Right, do you mean that road here, the end down here? Do I need to walk towards that road? Or the path walking up into the wood. Where do I need to go to? What part of the wood do I need to go to? Go right. So head towards this wood here. Go right. Go. Didn't go. What did Anne say? Missed it there again. And said, go, uh, point to the ties. There's the, there's the ties. Then go right. This way. Right. There's the ties. Connection is broken. Yep. Now, do you want me to go that way towards the road? Or do you want me to go this way here? Which way do you want me to go, Anne? Do I need to go this way? Alright, I need to the, to the tree straight ahead. So that's the tree straight ahead. Let's go to that tree straight ahead. Okay. Yep, there. So here. Holy mother of Jesus. What's that? Oh, that frightened the shite of me, guys. That frightened the daylights of me. Look at this, look. I thought it was a head. It was a tie. I thought it was a school. It frightened the shite of me. So that's the tree. Under, around this tree here. Jeez, that frightened the shite of me. <laughs> so this is the tree here, around this area here. So this is the area here. Okay. Okay, so this is the tree here, roughly around here. For some reason, that's still a road. I didn't walk too far if they're going burying Captain Iraq. So 
So that's, that is the tree. I'm just trying to trying to do a one spirit box session, but my spirit box will not connect for some reason. So I'm going to do one more spirit box session. I'm going to try and reconnect it again before we leave this this area. So when I was, just let me know, when I, when I did come here today, when, I, when after watching the video of the woman who did her paranormal investigation, she didn't need any spirit boxes. She didn't need any of the equipment that we have. She went down to the scene where Captain Nyrak, known as Robert, and... Um, she was able to communicate with Captain Nyrak on the bridge and she was able to come up into this area here. She walked the footpaths and she walked down to somewhere in this location here. We're all confined into this area here and Captain Nyrak was able to say this is where I'm buried in a shallow grave. Uh, the woman says this is where he's buried. She was 100% on it, on the nail. And when I got this evidence that came to me, I said, I better come out and try a spirit box session before things start to happen, before case people start coming and digging it all up. But I met a man on the road here a while ago, and he says that he did point to this locality here. Um, he pointed up, up here, up around this area. So it is in this area where Captain Nyrak is buried. Um... I'm just going to wait, just wait and see Karen before I finish up. I just want to see whether the spirit box will it uh, refresh for me. I want to be home for six. Um, that is the tree. I'm going to have to watch her video back and watch my video back and see are we in the right location. Uh, Anne-Marie says uh, from the tri from the ties. And so we just go back where the ties while I'm waiting for the phone to load up. The phone is, is, is it just sometimes be very slow. There's a lot of holes in the grounds here. I don't know what are all the holes in here. There's loads of holes here in these grounds. There's loads of holes. You can see them like if somebody was... Um, testing holes loads of holes they were sticking holes down the ground look at that loads of different holes there's holes everywhere in the ground like like if somebody was testing stuff and pointing down there's holes everywhere around here um there's another big hole here as well another big hole here there's holes everywhere around here and um is this the area where captain Iraq is buried this is where the woman is to believe that captain Iraq um was able to walk her through it that is the path where she walked where Martin hit his head under the tree and there are the ties there there are the ties there and that is the tree Anne where you says that where the woman picked up in the area where he's put there's loads of little uh, holes around the head loads and loads and loads of different holes maybe the people came out here and tested the area and done a trial hole to see was there any relation to her rights or wrong um, but anyway there's loads of different holes there I am going to try and do re, redo the spirit box session before I finish up. Uh, for some reason, it won't connect to me. Are we in the location where the woman says this is where Captain Nyrak's body is buried? I don't. I can't answer it. But I will tell you that I did meet a man here on the site here this evening, and he did say that yes, his body is here. He said, and he was in his 80s, and he says his body is just buried in an unmarked grave there. He says, and we just let it be. But he just says, sure, it's about time. So he he went home now. So that was the answer. I'm just going to wait and see with this reconnect. If it doesn't, I'm going to make my way back to the car. And I will watch back her video. That is the ties there. And that is the path. But there's loads of holes all around this area here. All like holes. They're going down about maybe a foot. Maybe a foot. There's about a foot of holes. Um, and just wait and see, does my spirit box connect? For some reason, my spirit box has stopped working. And I don't know why. Haven't a clue why. So let's see if it does work again. And uh, we'll finish up then before we go. For some reason the spirit box won't work for me. I don't know why. Um rat holes says uh Kathy Chris, you might be right. There's loads of holes around that area. There are the ties there. That is the tree. Where Anne Reed says to head, this is the area where she says this is where Captain Nyrak guided the, the woman through and says where this is where his body is laid to rest. And um, if it is, I'm trying to do a spirit box session and my device will not connect to it. For some reason, it just won't it won't my won't connect to it at all. You entered Bluetooth mode. Waiting for connection. Connection is okay. There you go. Is this the area of Captain Nyrak? Captain Captain Nyrak, is your body built buried here? Robert? You brought a woman here to this area. 
Is this where you're buried? Yes. Did I get a clear? Did I get a clear yes there? Captain Nyrak, known as Robert, can you say Cap, can, you, can you say Nyrak for me to confirm it? Can you say Nyrak to confirm your area? Can you say Nyrak to confirm it, please? Cap, Captain Nyrak, known as Robert. Can you repeat your name to prove I'm in the right area where you are buried? So everybody in the world will see it and hopefully we can get your body home. Captain Nyrak, can you say Nyrak, please? I haven't got the powers of the other woman. I use this device to try, to try and communicate with you. Captain Nyrak, this is your last chance. Can you say your name? So I, I know I'm in the right area where you're buried. Website. On Cap Captain Nyrak of the British Army. You were brutally buried, murdered on the bridge and your body was brought up here into a shallow grave. Can you try and communicate with me, please? Action in line. Captain Nyrak. Is your body... Is your body here? Is your body here? Maybe we'll have to continue on another day, guys. I don't, want to, I don't want to spend too much longer at it. So I'm just going to play something towards the car park and then we'll finish it up. Um, that is the area believed of the woman who walked this area. And she believed that Captain Nyrak, she, she believed that she was communicating with Captain Nyrak, the soldier of the British Army. And um, of the British Army that brought her here. And she was able to communicate with Captain Robert Nyrak. And Robert was able to communicate with this lady on the bridge, explained the story, how he was brutally beaten up. And he had one bullet into his head. There was, there was two to be given to him. But um, he was buried in a farmyard in two different places. But eventually, Captain Nyrak told this lady on the bridge that this is the shallow grave and this is the area where his body is located so she put her story out live on youtube um recently as you know paranormal tech have done recent videos in relation to the miami show band and captain nyrak and uh, when this information was given to me i would said i would love to run out and do it but i'm going to head home now and uh, we're going to play the song in relation to captain nyrak so uh so we're going to just going to keep it going until we walk out of here and um, then we'll say goodbye and uh, let's see what will happen got myself living in the got to do my best to please her just cause she's a living doll yes story over and that is why she satisfies my soul Got the one and only walking living dog we'll Take a look at her hair It's real and don't believe what I say Just feel Don't lock her up in a trunk So no big hunk can steal her away from me Riding, talking, sleeping, walking, living doll. Got to do my best to please her just cause she's a living doll. Got her own eye and that is why she satisfies my soul. Got the one and only walking, talking, living doll. 
a man who walks into the tree and nearly knocks himself out. Caroline will have me as a living dog and um, we're just going to walk in here to the car and we'll talk you through it and that'll be it because I need to get home or Caroline will have me as a living dog that's the big tree where the two young lads were brutally murdered and they've recently cut down that tree sad I hope they'll, leave, they'll put something in relation to them two kids that were murdered here in Ravens they would um, let's, let's get talking to you in the car and we'll head off So let's head back slowly and um, keys so there you go opened now so we're gonna head back now it's a beautiful evening um, but you have to admit I know Caroline there you have to admit though it was an investigation that I don't know we, we probably didn't have stuff that came out and uh, it's a story that said you know what I mean? So uh, I had to run out and do that, not only for myself because I love what I do, and uh, in relation to Captain Iraq, um, it is. I think the story. Um, I did say in the beginning of our investigation, why didn't was there to pick on the rest of the spirits off Ravens Wood because I know they exist here. I know the stories are true. Why didn't she pick up on the rest of the spirits that were murdered here in Ravens Wood? She pinpointed to the location where Captain Nyrak was believed in a ban on a marked grave. You can see it up there, that's the road up there. That's where it is. So that's where she pinpointed and she was able to walk to the area. Now, when myself and Sean Walters did the investigation, we were to believe that he was tortured on a bridge. I always thought it was on the two bridges here. This bridge here where I'm going now, I'll show you now. Let's turn around that bridge. I actually thought Captain Nyrak was murdered on that bridge. But Sean Walters was confirming it wasn't that bridge. And then there's another bridge over here to the right hand side, and I thought he was murdered on that bridge. And no, but I, eh, the, the old man in question that I met tonight, 85 years of age, he said, Where I started my video is the place Captain Nyrak was definitely 100% brought to his last days on that bridge. Um, the old man in question also says that the woman uh, that has the recent video up is spot is 100% right that Captain Iris' body is in a shadow grave in where we were just walking now. I, I did do a spirit box session, but I picked up absolutely nothing in relation to um, Captain Iraq, and um, I picked up absolutely nothing at all. Um, I am not a medium person, I cannot see ghosts, I cannot hear ghosts, but I only can pick up the stuff where I'm, where I'm going to tell you, and sometimes I can hit stuff on the button. I love what I do, and that's why I do my channel, because uh, sometimes we get, when we get stories, and um, we love to get onto it. So before I head out on this road here, I'm just going to drive down the road here, and I want to tell you one story before I finish up, and it won't take less than two minutes. And it's not in relation to um, Captain Iraq, so if anybody's watching back this video, in relation to Captain Nairac, if the woman that's in person that came into this location and was able to communicate with Captain Nairac, you get in contact under this video and myself and Caroline and maybe even Samantha from Life After Life would love to meet you here and walk you through the woods and you tell us what you're picking up and I love to tell you the rest of the story about Ravensdale Wood and the stories that we have are 100% just and if you're watching this, you get in contact with them us, and we meet you here, and we will talk to you to the spirits of Ravens Wood. Now, I just want to go down here another bit, uh, 
And I want to, before I say goodbye, I want to tell you something that this is 100%, it's just after happening. And this is the time where Ashley was ringing me. So I'm just going to pull here somewhere. I don't want to be too of a, a hit buzz off the way. I'm just going to pull here for a second before we finish our live stream because that's the road to head home. So we're going to pull here and I'm not going to be two minutes. I want to be because uh, Caroline has been good to go to. Um, this is a st true story in relation to the woman in the first video. Um, just so before, if this woman was watching this video back, if you're the woman that, that investigated this property, get in contact with myself and Caroline underneath this video. And myself and Caroline would love to meet you here in this wood and you may bring us through what you're telling us and what you're feeling. And I love to bring you to the history of this wood and you may you may tell us and you may be helped the poor creatures pass over. Um, what I want to tell you is a true story. And this story I'm going to tell you now is a sad story. The, in relation to the woman in the start of the video. Don't know why I went there. That's the, the bridge tonight. I wanted to see the bridge tonight. Um, this is a sad story I'm about to tell you. The woman in question came behind me when I was trying to set up this video link. And she says, can I ask you a question? Can you see ghosts? Can you, whatever, can you say, I cannot, no. The answer is no. Sometimes you might see a shadow. Sometimes you might feel a presence. And she says, she says, do you believe in heaven? And I looked at her. I knew there was something coming next, and I said, well, I don't know, would you call it heaven? It's definitely a spirit world. And what she told me next, gobsmacked me, she says, I'm dying from cancer. She said the creature, and she hasn't got long to live. And I thought, oh, I didn't, what, very hard to explain, what would you say to, the, to that woman? She's probably watching this now too, because she asked the channel. Um, she's dying from cancer, the creature and she hasn't got long to live and she asked me is there a spirit world and i says yes indeed so i brought her through the steps what i feel she says she was worried because she says she doesn't know how much longer she has to live but she says she was told under a certain amount, amount of time um she also says that um she's afraid she's afraid of dying so she asked me my opinion so i give her my opinion of the spirit world um, I asked, she wants me in her own time, she wants myself and Caroline to go out to her and talk to her uh, before she dies. She has a son and t uh, daughters, two daughters, they have a new grandchild in the family. She says she's going to pass, her husband is still in the spirit world in here and in this life and she's a, she hasn't got long to live and she's, as I said she's dying from creature, God, God rest her. Um, she asked me a few questions that I can't, don't know how I was able to answer them, but this is why I can't, I don't know the answers to the question, the answer to the question myself. She asked me, do I pick at an offer? So I asked, I looked at her and I said, right, you're, this lady's dying from cancer. Like, what do you say like you know to, to, to deal with the cancer itself is a hard situation so I just said look I'm gonna go what I always do with my what I pick up I asked her it says who's Patrick she says she says she, she kept quiet I said Patrick I'm picking up a Patrick from your person I felt there was a presence beside me and I only felt a presence but I felt a touch on my shoulder and this at the meeting this was this was when Caroline was saying, hurry up, hurry up, get on, where are you gone? I was trying to talk to this lady through it. I felt a presence on my shoulder, on the right and side, side shoulder. And I asked her, says, there's a presence of Patrick around you. Don't know who Patrick is, but does Patrick ring a bell to you? She says, yes, Patrick is my father. And she says, Patrick is in the, she says, I believe in heaven or the spirit world. And I said, that's who I'm picking up so she says, your mum is in the spirit world as well, and am I correct? And she says, that is correct. And I says, your mum is going to be with you as well. But I said, more your father than your mother. The two of them are going to be there when, when she passes. And she says, she was a, her dad was her, her, was her life. She loved her dad. And Patrick, she loved the bones of her father named Patrick. She got more on with her, her dad, Patrick, than more than her mother. Um, 
I asked her, had you, she a son? She said yes. And I said, had you, I'm not sure if I can't remember the time. I said, I, I, I think I said, did you have you two daughters? She says, I have. And I said, you have a new baby in your family as well. And she says, that is correct. She says, my daughter is just after having a baby six months ago. I said, right. I said, That's what I'm picking up of you. I said, I want to get on with this because I said, I need to get on with this. But I says, if you feel present, if you feel in kind and you want myself and Caroline to call out to you, I would love to hear your story. But I said, but I would love to do it live on YouTube so everybody would see your story and your kids and their kids before would like to see it and you, you t telling your story as well. So she is going to get in contact with myself and Caroline underneath this video. So if you're watching this back, um, if you if you wish myself and Caroline to come, I have no in question and doubt. I myself and Karen would come and we will have a chat to you and um, um, it is a, itself to, to deal with the cancer is a big thing and knowing you're, that you are going to die is a horrible thing to do but she says after when she was speaking to me and she had the quick conversation in, in relation to heaven or the spirit world I give her my opinion what I felt felt that you that, that you would be walking in the footsteps of your children and their grandchildren and your kids and your husband you'll be waiting for him when he comes into the into the spirit world and you'll be walking with your mum and your dad and you'll be walking her in the past going forward with your grandkids and your children you're going to be with them and you're going to help them come into the spirit world as well i said to her, is there a heaven i said nobody can ever answer is there a heaven but i definitely reckon there is a spirit world and i reckon that everybody who is who who belongs to you we, we all and i reckon that with, including my family and her family I reckon that when she does pass over I just told her I said I think that you would be at home here with your husband and your children and their children again and you'll be always in present with them and she says you have eased my mind she says now I'm not afraid to die now she says and, and now, says, now I have something in my mind now she says I'm happy to let it happen now she says I'm, I'm very happy and I believe when she does pass, I believe that her presence will be in that house and be with her kids and great kids to come. I believe that's what is going to happen with that lady. Um, she'll have an opportunity to whatever path she will go and she would choose, she even chose the path, what I'm only after explaining, that's the path that she is going to take. Um, I do wish her well and um, Ms. Evan Caroline send our best regards to you, you and your family. Uh, if she's watching this back so that is a true story and i didn't want to say too much on it but she wants to, to have a chat himself and caroline and she wants to get her story out and she wants to feel more relaxed before she dies so that's a true story and i just thought it was something i wanted to bring to your attention so it's goodbye from me it's goodbye from caroline caroline's probably going to fire the eggs out the window and hit me in the head coming in but i'd be home before I would be home before half six, so I'm, I'm okay. But I wanted to, to do that story in relation to Robert Nyrak because that woman put that video up on YouTube and I felt I wanted to do that today. So I hope you enjoyed our paranormal investigation. And um, very sad of that lady. I, I'm still thinking about it. Um, imagine you, you know you're going to die from cancer. But she said, uh, before you go, she said, I was, I was, she felt that she needed to come out of the house today what in the hell was that? Something tipped the top of the roof. She came out of the house and she felt that I was, she says that I was sent to her today for me, and I felt there was a reason for me to go to that bridge today. And she came out and she, when she told me the story and I told her story, she said that I was sent to her today to ease her pain. So, Caroline says, goodbye guys, we won't see, uh, Caroline says, you will see, Caroline says, Caroline, let's go back to the chat chat is gone again Caroline live chat is gone I don't know where live chat is gone live chat Caroline says bye guys won't see him anytime soon he's a dead man walking laughing out loud so right guys I will watch it back and I'll, and uh, my, look that's the way it goes I have to go before Caroline kills me before she turns me into a terminator so it's goodbye from me it's goodbye from Caroline and we'll see you on our next live stream in Corfu and Greece goodbye for now me Captain Nyrak May you rest in peace. Thank you, Mary, says Caroline. Goodbye. I'll see you soon. God bless. Like and share, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.